There are a few things you have to know as a blockchain developer and a smart contract developer because when you will apply for an interview in that they're going to ask you this basic terminology that what are the other alternative languages you have besides Solidity to build the smart contract? What are the performance rate? Why Solidity is more preferable than the other programming languages? So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. So hope you will have a better understanding so you can easily able to answer this important question in your interview. So before we do that, let's talk about what are the other alternative we have to build the smart contract besides Solidity and what are their performance ratio? So let's start with Rust. According to the Stack Overflow, Rust is one of the most popular and beloved programming language. You can not only write smart contract, but you can build applications, computer program using Rust. In short, Rust is a low level static type programming language and because of that, it's fast and memory efficient in an industry where scalability and performance is everything. This is the simple smart contract written in Rust. We have state variable and we have function. So if you know that how the Rust works, then you can easily able to understand this smart contract. So the disadvantages we have with Rust for writing the smart contract that it's fast, no doubt in that, but it's fairly a new language. You won't find communities which can help you. So if you are starting up creating a smart contract using Rust and if you will stuck somewhere, you won't find the community which can help you to figure out the problem. And on the other hand, you won't find library support. So if you're writing your smart contract in Solty, you will have a bunch of libraries which you can utilize it. But in Rust, there is no library which you can use to build your smart contract. And the second alternative we have for writing the smart contract is Viper, contract oriented Python. This programming language was introduced to target the Ethereum virtual machine. And it has some core features like such as event, notifier, listener, custom global variables and global contents. So there are a couple of good things is there in the Viper which you can use to build a smart contract. Viper was never introduced to replace Salty as a smart contract programming language. The developer of the Viper, they built this Viper programming language to provide support in terms of security. So there are a couple of loopholes we have in Salty and the developer who find out and they provided this particular language to fix those security loopholes. And the core feature Viper provide and that's what make the smart contract even more secure like modifier, inheritance, inline assembly, function and operator overloading recording function infinite loop and binary fixed point so there are, these are a couple of features come with a wiper which you can use it in your smart contract to make it more secure so this is the simple smart contract which is written in wiper you can have a look it has a similar structure but there is a difference in the syntax and the way you point out the comma and bracket okay but this is a simple smart contract written in wiper i'll provide you a couple of examples in the description in the link so you can check from your end and the third alternative you have for writing the smart contract is go programming language and this language was introduced by google to build application on ethereum blockchain and you can easily able to build any kind of computer programs it's quite similar to rust okay so all the functionality you find in rust that same features you're going to find in go language and the fourth alternative you have for writing the smart contract is yell so it's just like a wiper it was introduced to build support to the salty programming language in terms of security and now let's come to the star of the show salty programming itself Salty is a contract oriented high level programming language and this language was highly influenced by C++, Python and JavaScript. It was designed to target Ethereum virtual machine. Salty is a static type programming language which means all the variables you're going to define in the smart contract you have to be very specific it cannot be changed once you deploy the smart contract that's why it's called static type programming language not dynamic type it supports inheritance it support libraries it support complex user defined data and other beautiful feature which you can utilize to write your smart contract and the best part of writing smart contract in salty that it contained multiple contract but all the contract within a file share a single namespace and that's give the power. In 2014, when Gavin Wood proposed the Salty programming language for writing the smart contract which can run on Ethereum blockchains. So the main funder was for creating this language so it can build a token which can run on the Ethereum blockchains. And you can see that we are in so early stage of this language that we haven't reached the release one. We are still using the 0.8 version of Salty. And now let's talk about some of the important components of Solity. So let's start with the keyword first. So in Solity, there are some special keywords in there. 
So you cannot be used as a variable names like keywords like contract, library, interface, pragma and modifier. So these are the reserve keyword which is there in the sortie. So you can use as a variable name in your contract. And the second one we have is identifier. So you can define any variables, any function in your smart contract as a name. So that could be the unique identifier for that particular function for the particular variable. Okay, so that's the two terminology we have called the keywords and identifier. And now let's come to the third one, which is a literal. So literal is actually a data type which you define in your smart contract, like number, string, and boolean. So these are the important things comes in your interview. Okay, so the the, the interviewer will ask you that what is literal in terms of solid programming what is identifier what is keyword okay so that's the thing you have to keep in mind and the last one we have is punctuation so it just represent the symbols which you use in solid programming so if you have done coding in javascript then you will find the exact same structure exact same column semicolons bracket which you will use in solid smart contract okay so these are the four points you have to keep in mind keyword identifier literals and pronunciations so you have to keep this technical term because this is the term I'm going to use while going through this course and now let's talk about some of the important feature of sortie that why we should use sortie how it going to help us what kind of program we can build okay so let's start with the syntax if you have code in JavaScript you will have the same infrastructure same pattern same syntax to write the sortie smart contract okay so that's the first point we have here and the second point is file extension so every programming language had its own extension so for python for javascript for c++ so they all have their own extension in the same way solity does have its own extension dot soul and the third one is application solity can be used to create contract for various purpose such as voting crowdfunding building auction multi-signature wallet nft marketplace or some kind of financial product okay so when you will go to the interview the interview definitely going to ask you because i was asked once i gave the interview for the very first time so they asked me this question that what kind of application you can build using the smart contract okay so you have to be creative okay you don't give this generic name that voting crowdfunding auctions multi-signature wallet because everyone knows this you can say about that you can build a unishop application which can do the trading or you can create a trading board which can look at the price of the ethers and on the base of the price chain they're going to do the transaction okay so you can talk about those things don't give this generic name so there is a lot of things you can do whatever application you see in the real world you can create a smart contract and that smart contract can control the entire functionality of that particular applications in case of instagram in case of facebook you can build an application like that and the fourth point is contract so the solity program which you're going to write it will follow object oriented programming language so if you have followed the classes in javascript it's going to follow the same structure but in that we have a couple of variables access like we have access of variable we have access of modifier we have access of function okay so it will follow the same classes structure which you followed in the javascript so that's the basic thing you have to know so when there someone will ask you that what kind of structure is going to follow you can say object oriented structure is going to follow for writing the smart contract and the fifth point we have is data type every single programming language has its own data type array boolean number in the same way sorority does have its own data types like unt stand for unsigned integer in stand for signed integer boolean we have we have fixed array or dynamic array okay we have enum we have struct we have different type of data type which you can use in solity and the sixth point we have is contract deployment so whatever contract you're going to write in the solity program you have an option to deploy on the ethereum blockchain you can use it polygon blockchain because all of these blockchain can accept the smart contract and it's follow the same protocol like evm ethereum virtual machine okay that's the only thing you have to keep in mind and the seventh point is and the seventh point we have is salty compiler and definitely when you will sit for an interview they're going to ask you this simple question that what is salty compiler so salty compiler is nothing but uh, the salty version which you are using in your smart contract okay so right now you have seen that we have a lot of version we have started from 0 0.4 and right now we are using 8 so there is a lot of changes came into the programming language in the solity and whenever you you can pick any specific compiler to write your smart contract okay so make sure you have to be very specific whenever you write your smart contract you have to pick the 8 because that one is latest and because in the earlier contract we had a lot of bugs which can create a overflow and underflow problem so make sure to use that eight compiler so this is the answer you can get that we should 
prefer to use compiler 8. And number 8 is easy to learn. Sorority is a fairly easy language which you can start learning. If you be focused for the 3 months, you can be a master on Sorority programming language. Because this entire language is influenced by existing language. So if you have little bit knowledge about any previous language like JavaScript, Python or C++, you can easily able to learn this language very fast. Okay, so before you start learning these like this language, you have to focus on at least JavaScript. Okay, at least JavaScript. And now let's talk about the contracts which you can build using Sorority Smart Contract. So right now in the real world, you will find that most of the exchange have their token, ERC20 token, ERC21 token, ERC1715 token. So you can create contract and you can have your own token which can get regulated and you can make money out of it. Okay, so that's the one funda we have. You can build an application using the smart contract which can entirely control by the smart contract. Okay, you can build contract which can be run when a certain condition fulfilled. Okay, so you can use for many things. Whatever you can see right now, you're doing on Web2 platform, that's all you can do on a Web3 using smart contract. And the most common uses you will find right now in 2022 when it's come to the smart contract, like you can able to build your decentralized exchange where user can buy coin, trade coins, and that contract will communicate straight away to the Ethereum blockchains. Nobody is involved in that. It will allow user to facilitate all the transaction exchange. The second option you have is you can launch your own ICO. So, okay, if you have your own company, if you have your proposal, and if you want that the user should contribute in your project, so you can launch your own ICO, which stands for Initial Coin Offer and you can raise fund from that okay it's just like a stock market and third one we have is DAO okay you can create a decentralized autonomous organizations you will define the proposal in that contract will control every single thing those who will be a part of the DAO they have the right to give vote and on the base of their vote the contract will decide that what action need to be taken okay so you can do a bunch of things don't need to worry we're going to do all of these things we're going to build application on each of this topic we'll launch our ico we'll build our dao we'll build a decentralized exchange we'll build all different kind of application okay and that's the only thing i want to cover about the salty that what are the competitive language you have what are the things you have to keep in mind how it's going to help you when you will write your smart contract in salty and when you will not write in salty and write in other, pro other programming language and what are the problems you will face so hope you will have the complete understanding and you are taking note okay so whatever i have covered make sure to take note of this because these are the questions we'll definitely going to ask when you will sit for the interview okay from the next video i'll give you a complete overview of remix id that how you can utilize that online tool which is so powerful for building a smart contract every single functionality and every single features remix id offers you we're going to have a complete overview of that and after that we're going to see a sample sorority smart contract for housing okay so after that we're going to cover that so hope you guys have liked it if you are new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and do leave your like and thought what you think about this course what topics you want me to cover and what project we should build so see you in the next video